Hi guys! Well, today is April 19th, I think it is. Anyway, we're going into this Goodwill that's over here in Mitchell, South Dakota, and see what we can find. Let me get out of my vehicle. Anyway, let's go see what we can find. Love you guys. Alright, let's go see what we can find. Oh, these are tiny buggies. Look how tiny they are. No. No. Never been in this one. Oh, I like these. Huh? Does he got a smiley face? Let me see. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Uh-uh. <laughs> 2XL. It is, isn't it? Oh gosh, look at this. I think of Kate right now. Forgive my nails. Because of mayo, I had to take them off. Look how cute and kitschy he is. Something chipped on him. Nice little sugar bunny. I'm hiding my nails because my disease, my cancer eats my nail beds. This is awesome. I'm gonna grab that for $2. It's awesome. Alright, let's see what else we can find. Oh, that's lovely. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know if that's one of the collector's ones, but it looks... No, there's just a rubber band on the back. I'm going to pick that up. I'll run it and see what's... Sometimes those can be worth money. Oh, God, how cute is that little box? Made in China. Yep. This is cool. Is that Japan? No, I'm not seeing Japan. What a great little nightlight. Alright, see what else we can find. Alright, so I was sitting there talking to Justin. He's over there. And he gave us permission to go ahead and keep filming in here. So, I'm excited. I always like to ask before I came in, but I didn't do that this time. One size fits all. Okay. <laughs> um, it's a purse. <laughs> Not sure I'd be wearing that, but you know, you never know. All right, see what we can find. Oh, I already see a piece I like already. Oh, there it is. That is beautiful and green. That's the price on it, ten dollars. Oh, hold on, guys. I need two hands. Hold on. Okay, I picked up this beautiful bohemian glass. These are all hand painted. I mean, look at the raised flowering to it. Really pretty. Sorry again with my nails. Unfortunately, with my disease, me and calcium don't like each other. I picked up this beautiful Japanese. It was a music box. How gorgeous is this? Three toed. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. I mean, it's, just, it's all metal. It is missing its music box inside. But honestly, I think I'm going to rescue it because it's not a lot of trash. And for $4, and that's all it is, is $4. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I've never been in this place because this place is so cool. All right. I'm, I'm into metal boxes, guys. I'm sorry. Really am. Let's see what's this? Limited edition, 1998. Well, oh, is it cookie? Cookie container. I'll come back to that. So cool. I love shells. Oh, what do we got here? Two dollars on that shell. Yeah, we're gonna grab that. I have a lot of um, nautical stuff in my house. Sorry, I'm all over the place. The excitement of finding a cool place with neat stuff is kind of hard to do sometimes. And this is definitely old and definitely has some age to it. Look at that, guys. And there's no brakes on it. Oh, I take that back. It's schnutz right there. Dang. That is so sad. Oh, and his tail's broke off. 
Oh, such a bummer. All right, well, let's see what else we can find. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. I picked up on this. So this looks like a Hazel Atlas, $5. These just, I mean, could at least get 15, maybe 25 out of it. It's beautiful, I love ice blue. If you guys have watched any of my other vi videos, absolutely love anything that has a blue. I love like Mediterranean greens, but then there's a really odd dish with this, and it's $5 for the two of them. I hate taking stuff apart because I don't really like you to do that, but look at this. Not sure what this is. It almost looks like a recycled glass. I don't know if to take a chance with it or not, but it's really pretty. I put that in, we'll think about it. And then, right next to it, oh, look at the price, $5. $5 for that. Not sure about that one, though. Kind of funny about stuff, but I love the smell class now. $4, is that for both or one? And five for the larger one. And I bet you I did not bring my, hmm. I don't know. We'll have to come back. I mean, it's anchor hawking. I love anchor hawking, and I know everybody's looking at the amberina over there. That is flash glass. So it's already starting to peel up. Otherwise, I would have grabbed it. Again, forgive my nails. I usually have them done. But today I was just, you know, out getting a few things done, and I came across here. I had to be out here in Mitchell. I had to few emergencies, family emergencies going on. Anyway, let's see what else we can find. What do we got here? Oh my goodness, she's so cute with her kitty cat. Is she a music box? Oh, she was. Oh, that's so sad. I don't have an extra music box for that either. Otherwise, I would have grabbed it. Okay. Let's see what else we can find here. All right. So far, not too bad. Pretty excited about that. No, this looks newer. Could be wrong. I don't think this is Japan. I think this is China, actually. I don't know how you guys do this with one hand. I really don't. Hold on. Let's see if I can get up underneath of it. Yep. I was right with the China. Just double checking. It is pretty though. Look at that. The pagoda on it. It's very pretty. Ooh. That is cool. Oh. I don't know about you guys, but I always find different things for my office. <laughs> oh, there's a kitty cat right there. Current ink China. Okay, let's keep going. See what else we can find. I'm like really liking this place. I'm like hardly gone anywhere yet. I know these are gonna be like home co products, yeah. I like a little pear and apple though. Oh, what's this? Magnetic Games, Chess, Nyman's, Morris, Homa, Backgammon, Solitaire, Ludo. The chess part I knew. The rest, not so much. <laughs> and also, um, Brian found a Nirvana t-shirt in here. I think I showed that on film. But super cool, super great. And oh my gosh, I see a, a pottery mug. There's nobody on the other side I can reach. Oh, I like that. Minnesota Renaissance Fair. It's pretty cool, though. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm, I don't, I mean, this is really, it's just kind of with the dead bird. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Let's see what else we can find. Oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 she's pretty. Oh, oh, she's newer too, but how pretty she is. All right, I'm gonna turn you guys off until I find something else. So, this is what Brian just found. It's a maximum wear Yamaha. And this is made in Korea, so it is a vintage. Yamaha snowmobiles. I mean, guys, this thing is so cool. 
So I picked up this Sylvestri. And it's so cute. Oh my gosh, there's a little bunny reaching in, getting snowflakes out and clean it up. It looks so nice when done. Three dollars for it. Figured be able to get at least ten, maybe eleven dollars for it, maybe more. So I try to keep my prices good. I sell on whatnot, and if you don't know what whatnot is, you can click on my description down below. Whatnot is a phone auction app. And I also sell it over on eBay under the same name, 365 Vintage Hunter. You can find that down in the description also. If you see anything that you like, just let me know. And uh, down in the comments and I'll put it on reserve for you. Ooh, some pretty leaves. Uh, not what we're looking for though. Some of those at home. Try not to catch anybody in the camera, even though Mr. Justin said it was fine. Oh, this is pretty. Nice cruet. It's cracked on the bottom, unfortunately, but it's a very heavy piece of glass. Mm. Alright, let's see what else we can find. Alright, so Brian found these Anchor Hawking Milano Green Roly Poly glasses for a dollar. So we're going to grab them, dollar a piece. So we're going to go ahead and put these in here. And these usually go for about, mm, about 9 to $12 a piece. But um, I'm probably going to do a bundle on them. And there's five of them. Five of them. Um, but we'll get the fifth one here. We'll go ahead and get it. Yeah, we'll see if there's a number six somewhere. I'm sure there is. This is starting to look sketchy in here. <laughs> A little, a little hot mess here. All right, I'll turn you back on in a second. Okay, I just came up on these Grinley tea cups. I mean, they're meticulous. I've seen some prices in there, at like twenty dollars a piece. These are selling at two dollars a piece, and they have this one's two seventy-five. I don't want any chips. It's two seventy-five. 275. I'm not seeing any damage inside either, guys. I think I'm going to grab all of them. There is six of them. That's a good even number. So I'm going to grab these teacups. Hopefully we can find the plates to go with them. And that would be lovely. I don't know what the chances are, but those are just lovely. Alright, I'll turn you off and I'm going to get the rest of them. So, Brian found these summer sipping large drink glasses. They're plastic, but they go for $14. 15 bucks. 15 bucks they sell for online. There's two of them. We got them for a dollar a piece. Yeah, no. Everything still is there. It's awesome. Hey, it's a pair made in Japan. Creamer and sugar. I don't know if that's too far gone to fix. I, I just... I just don't know if that's going to come off. That's my biggest... Oh, I mean, you can't see it, but unfortunately, once metal starts to pit, it's pretty bad. So I'm just going to have to leave those here, and it makes me sick to my stomach, because look how beautiful with the swan's head. I know I'm going to regret that. Probably very badly. Okay, guys, sorry. My brother called, and... I just started picking stuff up. So I picked up a couple of things for whatnot. This really beautiful hummingbird, brass, and copper. And I found a butterfly. And then I picked up a really cool hand-carved giraffe. That is just beautiful. Great face on that, actually. And then a West Bend piece. And then on top of that, I did pick up the cream and sugar. I did. And I picked up these. They're made in Italy. Done in Lucite. This is just beautiful. If these get cleaned up, they will be gorgeous. So I'll pick those up. Let's see what else we can find. I think I just found... Pardon me. There we go. Hmm. This is pretty. Let me pick it up. Oh, that's nice. 
nice. Be nice to have two of those. Is that a? I just find a pagoda very light. Did did I just find a pagoda very light? Okay, well you know what? That's, my my basket is so full right now. Okay, we're gonna put that right there. We're gonna check that out, and then we're gonna check this guy out here too. So let me get right back to you again. Apologize for my nails, but not much I can do about my disease. And it's from cancer, it's nothing else. All right, hold on. So unfortunately, the pagoda was chipped underneath of the lid. First fairy light I have ever found, and it was chipped. Isn't that how that usually works? Ooh, it's that over there. Actually, that's not a um, co-item. I guess we'll find, oh no, I know what this is. I know what this is, I know what this is. Is it signed, is it signed, is it signed? It is, it is, it's signed. Is it signed on the bottom? I think this is a huge on the bottom. 275. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is gorgeous. Yeah, look at this. This is beautiful. I'm gonna pick this up. This is done in clay and then carved out. Oh, how beautiful is this? Can't tell if that's a signature inked in or what they did. Hold on, let me feel it. Nope, oh, that's carved in. So, <laughs> I have another one online, but it's not quite signed like that. <laughs> oh, look at this. There's a snuffer. A silver plated snuffer. Huh. 17 for reproduction 9. Okay. Alright, let's see what else is up here. Oh, Brian's over there looking at the same item I did earlier. <laughs> Great minds think alike. I am going to go over here, though. I don't think this is what I think. Well, maybe. No, nope, no, nope, it's a home cone product. These. This is pretty nice. I like these. Anything brass and wood is always a nice thing. Those are nice. Oh. Oh, it's chipped on the side. That well, kind of takes that out of the picture. Let's see what else we have here. All right, I'll turn you back off if I find something. All right, guys, I have 5% left on my phone. Uh, Brian just found a really cool piece of artwork, Meeting New Friends, by Brian Morger. Really cool piece. It actually has all the information about the artist on the back. I'll show you that. There it is, Brian Morger, born in Great Falls, Montana. So we'll have to, we'll have to take a look at that. He's going to use his phone. All right, love you guys. God bless, and have an awesome day. Remember, you can find me on eBay at 365 Vintage Hunter and also on Whatnot at 365 Vintage Hunter. And this is all listed down in the description down below. Thank you guys for coming by and coming to my video and to my channel. I really appreciate it. If you could please like and subscribe, I would be ever so happy and elated. Thank you.
Remember, you can find me on eBay at 365 Vintage Hunter and also on Whatnot at 365 Vintage Hunter. And this is all listed down in the description down below. Thank you guys for coming by and coming to my video and to my channel. I really appreciate it. If you could please like and subscribe, I would be ever so happy and elated. Thank you.